Lorentz car accelerates at a rate of negative 1.25 meters per second squared. How long does it take for Lorentz car to accelerate from a speed of 25 meters per second to a speed of 17 meters per second? Okay, we're going to start by drawing ourselves a picture. So we've got Lorentz car here. And we know that it's going at a speed of 25 meters per second. So I'm going to draw an arrow to the right. It's positive, so we say that the positive direction is to the right. And then I'm going to write down my givens. Remember, when we write down the givens, we need to make sure we write the variable as well. So the car accelerates at a rate of negative 1.25 meters per second squared. So the acceleration, negative 1.25 meters per second squared. How long does it take? Okay, so that's the fine. I'm going to write that down here. How long? That's a time, the change in time. I'm going to continue to write down my given to above. For a Lorentz car to accelerate from a speed, so it's starting with a speed, from a speed, so that's the initial speed, is 25 meters per second to a speed of 17 meters per second. So that's the final speed. Okay, so we've got our picture, our givens, our find. And then we've got a couple of equations. The equation we just learned for acceleration, which is acceleration is equal to the change in velocity over the change in time. And then the equation that we rewrote from this one where we substituted the final minus the initial in and then solved for the final. So the final is equal to the initial plus the acceleration times the change in time. We could use either of these equations to solve. I think this one's a little simpler because the variable we are looking for in this equation is in the denominator, which makes it a little bit more difficult to solve. So I'm going to go ahead and use the equation over here on the right. Final velocity, which is 25, nope, made a mistake there. The final velocity is 17. So 17 meters per second is equal to the initial 25 meters per second plus the acceleration, negative 1.25 meters per second squared times the change in time. Okay, so we need to solve this equation. Well, this has a variable attached to it. Okay, so this, the 25 meters per second and this term here are not like terms, so we can't combine them. So the first thing I'm going to do is move the 25 to the left side by subtracting it. And we can check to make sure our units are the same because when we subtract or add, numbers, the units need to be the same. So in this case, they're both meters per second, so that's fine. So 17 minus 25 is negative 8 meters per second, which is equal to negative 1.25 meters per second squared times the change in time. This right here is multiplication. So if I want to get time by itself, I need to do the inverse operation, which is division. The meters per second will cancel, but we'll still have a second left because it's squared here. And so we will end up with the correct units. So I get 6.4 seconds, which equals the change in time. That just is an S instead of a 5. A couple other things to take note of. Notice our negatives canceled. Notice also that our acceleration was negative. Our initial velocity was positive. Those are opposites, therefore we should be slowing down. We did slow down. Um, it takes us 6.4 seconds to substitute all that back in up here and see if it is correct as well.